How's it everyone? Welcome to Open Court. So today I'd like to talk about an overgrip, possibly one of the most popular and definitely one of the most famous overgrips on the market, and that's this one. So I'm sure you guys know just by looking at this, you guys know that this is Turn -a Grip. This is one of the most famous uh, overgrips on the market, made famous back in the 90s by Pete Sampras. A lot of other top pros use it, such as uh, David Ferrer, Dominic Thiem, Richard Gasquet, just to name a few. A lot of players love Turner Grip. So what makes Turner Grip unique? First of all, it comes in this unique color, which Turner Grip actually patented this color, so no other grip manufacturer is allowed to use this specific shade of blue. And so if you see this grip color on somebody's racket, you know 100% that that is a Turner Grip. Turner Grip also falls into the category of dry overgrips, they are meant to absorb the sweat on your hands, so they're meant for hot and humid conditions. These aren't really well suited for cold climates. If you're playing in a cold climate, you should get a tacky grip. Turner Grip absorbs moisture extremely well because before they started manufacturing these overgrips, they actually manufactured chamois, which are those rags that you use to wash your car. Chamois, the wetter they get, the more they start to absorb. and so they implemented that chamois technology into an overgrip and this became one of the most popular overgrips on the market. So I actually really like Turner Grip and when I usually review a product, I usually start with the positives, the pros, but today I actually want to start with the cons because the biggest con when it comes to the Turner Grip is putting this damn thing on. So I just want to show you guys what a pain in the backside it is to put Turner Grip on. Now, I'm all for the classics and tradition and everything. Turner Grip hasn't changed their formula since their inception as far as I know, but because of that, it is a pain in the butt to put on and I'll show you why. First off, you got this Turner Grip finishing tape in this red, but if you see the back here, there's like almost nowhere to peel this thing and so it's pretty tough to kind of peel this finishing tape off. And secondly, the grip itself, the question that many people ask with this thing is which side is up? Which side do I wrap on the handle and which side is supposed to be the side that's on the outside where I'm supposed to grip? Well, to be honest, both sides feel pretty much the same and so you can use whichever side you want, but in terms of which side is actually supposed to be on the outside of the handle, this protective tape here, this thing, protects the outside of the grip. So when you peel this off, this side here that the tape was covering, this is supposed to be the outside. If you guys do this with other overgrips, you peel the tape off, that side is always protecting the side that is meant to be on the outside. And so this is technically the outside of the overgrip, but it doesn't really matter. You can use this side as the outside. They feel pretty much the same. And lastly, the biggest pain in the neck is that the Turner Grip doesn't have a tapered end. And so you have to kind of really stretch it when you wrap it around the base of the handle, otherwise it's going to start overlapping and create bumps. I like to cut it at an angle to make my own tapered edge, but if you don't, you gotta really tension it when you wrap that initial part around the bottom of the handle. And this doesn't have an adhesive at the end here, so you really have to hold it down with your thumb as you wrap it around and come around until you can overlap it and it won't start to come apart. This is a pain in the butt to do, but it takes some practice. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video by Tennis Spin where he does a quick tutorial about how to put on Turner Grip and it's very useful. This is one of the hardest overgrips to put on, but once, it, once you put it on, it feels great. So let's get into the pros of the Turner Grip. So Turner Grip, as I said earlier, falls into that dry category. It's meant for hot and humid conditions where your hand starts to sweat. The Turner Grip will absorb the moisture and so it will keep your grip nice and uh, tacky. You won't feel it slipping in your hand and so you, when you change grips or you hit slightly off center, you won't feel the racket twisting in your hand and that's a real blessing. One thing I also really like about Turner Grip is that it's very thin and so I personally have small hands and I use a 4 and 1 fourth grip size and I use the thinnest over grips that I can possibly get and so I don't like building up grip sizes and so the Turner Grip is good because it's very very thin. One issue that some people have is that because it absorbs sweat so well, the salt in the sweat starts to eat away at the Turner Grip and it starts to fall apart. 
I've never personally had this happen before. I can go a full month of Turner Grip without having any fraying at all. And so in my opinion, I don't really think that durability is a problem. I usually change over grips after a month anyway because they start to accumulate dust and dirt and it starts to lose its tack. Turner Grip, I've never had a problem with falling apart, but from other reports that I've heard, some people say that the salt eats away at the grip and so it starts to fall apart. But I really like it for that whole month that I use it. And lastly, some people complain that the Turner Grip is too short uh, if you have long handles. They have Turner Grip in XL sizes which are longer and so you can get a little bit more out of it but some people think it's too short and it doesn't wrap all the way up. I've never had a problem, I always overlap very little and so I've always managed to get it up to the throat with no problem. So the Turner Grip overall is a pain in the butt to put on but once it gets on it's one of the best overgrips on the market. It's a classic, is it still great? Yes it is but I just wish Turner Grip would do something about the ins installation process because it is a pain in the butt. I'm all for keeping tradition, but in terms of functionality, I would recommend Turner Grip to change this formula and make it a little bit easier for players to install this grip. Maybe have a tapered edge, maybe have an adhesive at the end so you can put it on the base and wrap it around easier. But in terms of the actual grip itself, this grip is phenomenal, one of the best, and still one of the best on the market, which is why many top pros still opt to use it. If you have not tried Turner Grip, I highly, highly recommend giving it a try. So thank you for watching this quick review of this classic overgrip, the Turner Grip. If you guys like this content and want to see more like it, be sure you overhead smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you on an open court.